Monkey Park. And so Zulkar Naik is a man who impacts upon two ages, one in the past, one to come. That's today. He is someone who possesses faith. Faith in the one God. The one God who created both the male and the female, but is neither male nor female. In the United States, they're saying that God is both a man and a woman now. <laughs> he has faith in the one God, the God of Abraham, besides whom there is no other God. And that God has given him power, power, divinely bestowed power. When power rests on the foundations of faith, how is that power used? I hope that the PNM is listening. I hope that the UNC might one day also listen. When power rests on the foundations of faith, how is that power used? I do hope someday Washington might listen. Zulkar name travels in one direction. He's going in the direction of the setting of the sun, so west. And there he comes across a people. He reaches a lake of murky water, deep water, so an ocean, not a little pond. And there he comes across a people. And then Allah addresses him and says, Oh Zulkarnain, how are you going to relate with these people? He replied. He said, Those who are guilty of acts of zulm, Zulum. Zulum is wickedness. It's injustice. It's oppression. Like telling a mountain of lies to attack Iraq. Telling a mountain of lies to attack Afghanistan. Destroying the Twin Towers. And then putting the blame on Arabs and Muslims for one day, one day, the truth will come out. And on that day when the truth come out, we will be vindicated. Arabs and Muslims did not do it. Zulkar says, those who are guilty of acts of zulm, I'll punish them. And when they return to you, you will also punish them. And so when power rests on the foundations of faith, power is used to punish the oppressor. Tell that to any South African and his heart will vibrate. Tell that to Nelson Mandela and he will shake. When power rests on the foundations of faith, power is used to punish the oppressor. And when the oppressor returns to his Lord, the Lord will also punish him. And so when power rests on the foundations of faith, there will be an essential harmony between this world here under and that world beyond. And then he went on to say that those who have faith and whose conduct is righteous, whether you're black or white, and yes, there are white people who have faith and who will live lives of piety and righteousness. Whether you're black or white or brown or yellow, you will be assisted. I'm going to treat you nicely and you'll be rewarded. And so when power rests on the foundations of faith, the religious way of life will be supported. And there will be an essential harmony.
between life here and life there. Zulkarnain then traveled in the opposite direction, the rising of the sun, and so eastwards. And then he came across a people for whom we had provided no cover. Cover from what? That's a big question. The translation that was just given to cover from the sunshine. A people who are not covered from the sunshine will eventually have their skin pigmented. Dark skinned people. Or cover from the elements. So a people living a primitive way of life. We don't know which one. How are you going to deal with a primitive people when power rests on the foundations of faith? Kadalika waqad ahatna bima ladayhi khubra. The language in the Quran is so pithy. Thus did Zulkarnain leave them as they were. He had the compassion. He had the good sense and the wisdom. He had the sympathy not to disturb them in their way of life. And then he traveled in a third direction, but the rabbis had not asked for that. But it was understood that that is what they wanted, the third journey. And so Allah sent the answer. You wanted to know about Gog and Magog, I'll tell you about Gog and Magog. When he traveled in the third direction, if we had the time, we could argue that it was not. But this book will give you the evidence. It was not. And there between two mountains, it passed between two mountain ranges, and it is later confirmed that this is the Caucasus Mountains. The Caucasus Mountains. You remember? White Caucasian maybe? How did they get the word Caucasian? Between the Caucasus Mountains, this passageway. There he came across a people, whose language could not be understood. But this is a world traveler. He has an army with him. Surely he would understand the language of a people, except when that people had never interacted with the rest of the world. When that people had never had trade and commerce with the rest of the world. When that people had never walked on the stage of history, like China. Like Babylon, like Mexico, like Africa. Not these people. Who are these people? They speak to Zulkarnain after they had been, we were able to understand them. 